Hello students how are you all i hope you all are fine today we will continue with our chapter tables and shares i hope you have seen the part 1 and part 2 of this chapter in the youtube and you know school website today we will continue with part 3 of this chapter that is tables and shares part 3 so in part 1 and part 2 we have completed up to this page that is page number 125 that is seashells up to this we have completed in part 1 and part 2 now in part 3 we will continue from the try this of this page okay so if you see the uh, a number sum of try this we can see kannu made a necklace of 17 seashells so like the previous one kannu is trying to make necklace with she sells and for one seashells now for one necklace number of seashells needed is 17 how many such necklaces can be made using 100 seashells that we have to find out so total number of seashells that karnu have is 100 okay from this 100 Kannu is making necklaces using 17 seashells for each necklaces. First of all, I'm telling you, we will do the sum in two ways. Like the previous one, we will do the sum in two ways. One way is repeated subtraction method. Another way is division method. You can do the sum in only one method, but I will show you how to do the sum in both methods. Okay at first we will do the sum in repeated subtraction method So at first there was 100 she sells so from 100 we are taking out 17 she sells for the first necklace That means from 100 we are taking out 17 she sells for the first necklace so number of she sells remaining is 83 again from that 83 she sells again we are taking out 17 she sells for the second necklace so number of she sells remaining is 66 again from the 66 she sells we are taking out 17 she sells for the third necklace so remaining she sells is 49 again from the 49 we are taking out 17 she shells for the fourth necklace so remaining she shells is 32 again from the 32 we are taking out 17 she shells for the fifth necklace and the remaining she shells is 15 so we have seen here how many necklaces we can make one 2 3 4 5 so five necklaces kannu can make using 100 seashells but at the last there will be 15 seashells that will remain with kannu but kannu can't make any necklace with that 15 seashells because for making one necklace at least 17 seashells kannu need so kannu can make five necklaces and 15 seashells will or 15 bits will left with kannu okay so this is the first method we can do now i will show you the second method by which we can do the sum very easily and within less time okay so total number of c cells is 100 and for making 
one necklace number of she cells needed is 17 so number of necklaces can be made using 100 she cells will be 100 divided by 17 so when you will divide 100 by 17 if you will go the table of 17 you can see 17 5 is 85 so when we will subtract 100 from 85 we can see 15 will be our remaining that is remainder so from here we can easily understood that five necklaces kannu can make and 15 shishas will remain just like the previous one in the previous one was answer was exactly same five necklaces kannu can make and 15 will be the remainder so this was our second process by which we can do the sum okay next we will go to the next sum one cotton can hold 85 soap buds shally wants to pack 338 soap buds so how many cartons does she need for packing all of them okay so what we have to do in this sum yes you can easily say that we have to do division in this sum so what we will do number of cotton you will write the statement in this way number of cotton needed for 85 soap buds is equal to 1 so number of cotton needed for 338 soap buds equals to 338 divided by 85 okay so when you will divide 338 by 85 you can see 385 3 is a 255 so there will be remainder 83 that means we can say that 3 cotton will be needed but you see here 83 soap buds are still remaining so they have to pack 83 soap buds also they can't leave these 83 soap buds so 3 will be will not be our answer because we have to do 3 plus 1 that is 4 that means 4 cartons will be needed to pack 338 soap buds again i am telling here our answer is coming 3 and 83 is coming as remainder so you can say that 3 will be our answer but no 3 can't be our answer because 83 soap buds are still remaining and for packing those 83 soap buds still one cotton is needed so 3 plus 1 that means 4, 4 cotton will be needed. Okay, I hope you have understood this one. Next we will go to the next sum. Manpreet wants 1500 sacks of cement for making a house. Okay, for making a house Manpreet need 1500 sacks of cement. How many trips will the truck made? Okay, sorry. Manpreet wants 1,500 sacks of cement for making a house. A truck carries 250 sacks at a time. At a time, the truck carries 250 sacks. Okay, so how many trips will the truck made? You can easily say that we have to do division here. So, what we have to do? 1500 divided by 250 okay so when you will do divide 1500 by 250 we can say 256 is 1500 so that means six trips the truck have to make to 
carry 1500 sacks of cement okay this was very easy next you can see a driver charge rupees 500 for a trip for one trip the driver charge rupees 500 so for 600 trips how much money the driver will charge for that what we have to do yes multiplication so rupees 500 multiply by 6 so what will be our answer yes rupees 3000 okay so this sum was also very easy next we will go to the next sum that is gangu sweet Gangu is making sweets for Eid. He has made a tray of 80 laddus. You can see here, Gangu has made a tray of 80 laddus. Now, Rabia came to Gangu's shop and she is telling, Please pack full laddus in a box. Rabia is telling, in a box, pack full laddus. Okay, in this way, I need 23 small boxes. In this way, Rabia needs 23 small boxes and in one box, she wants there will be 4 laddus. So, uh, so, the thing is, are the sweets enough in the tray enough to pack 23 small boxes that we have to find out. Okay, so we can see here. Number of laddus in one box. You will write the statement in this way. Number of laddus in one box equals to 4. So, number of laddus in 23 boxes will be 23 into 4. That is 92. So, 92 laddus Rabia need. But in the tray, there was how many laddus? 80 laddus. So, are the sweets in the tray enough to pack 23 small boxes? No. Our answer will be no. So, how many more sweets are needed? So, how many more laddus are needed? What we have to do? We have to subtract 80 from 92. So, 92 minus 80, that means 12. So, 12 more laddus or 12 more sweets Gangu have to make so that Rabia can take 23 laddus. Okay. Next, we will go to the next side. Okay, so Gangu has a bigger box in which he packed 12 laddus. Okay, so in a bigger box, Gangu now is packing 12 laddus. So, how many boxes does he need for packing 60 laddus? We have to find out. So, it's very easy. What we have to do? We just have to divide 60 by 12. So, 60 divided by 12. What will be our answer? Yes, our answer will be 5. That means 5 boxes or bigger boxes Gangu need to pack 60 laddus. Okay. Next there is practice time. Here you can see there are 5 sums in the practice time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These 5 sums you will try by your own to solve. And in the next video that is part 4 of tables and shares. I will show you the answers of this sum. But before that, without taking any help from your parents or anyone, you just try to do the solve, solve of the sum alone. Okay. And you will practice the previous sums that we have done today. From here, try this. You will practice all the sums. And if you face any problem while doing the sums, you will comment back in the comment portion. Okay? Thank you.